Hey guys, Rich from RDV here, and today I'm gonna go over how to pair and do the general setup on the new CP1 hardware. Uh, what we're gonna do first is start with how to pair. So what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna press and hold whatever button is appropriate for the vehicle. Um, on the Porsche, it's the info button. Um, BMW is the menu button. Uh, some Range Rover's home button. Um, usually Lexus is menu button. The Mercedes are usually the star of the return button. Uh, to get into the main menu of the interface, which is right here, this is the main menu of the interface. Um, so you just press and hold that button to switch in for about three seconds, and that'll bring you into the interface. And then what you want to do is you want to go to settings. You want to go to wireless CarPlay settings. Discover and connect devices. And then it'll start searching. And then you also search as well. And then when you see the appropriate number, letter combination, you pair. And then essentially CarPlay will automatically come up or Android Auto will automatically come up. And that's how you do your initial pairing. And then that's super simple. And then if you want to do Android Auto, you do the same thing with wireless Android Auto. Uh, advanced features is where you're going to go in and set up everything for backup camera. So parking guidelines is your dynamic lines. So when you turn the wheel, the lines will move in the appropriate direction as you're turning the wheel. So you have the option to turn those on or off. Park distance control is for vehicles that have parking sensors. So if the vehicle has factory parking sensors, you're gonna turn park distance control on, and then the factory parking sensors will overlay over the backup camera image. If you're adding a aftermarket camera, you're gonna leave this set to off. Off is for aftermarket camera, on is for original camera. So the slider on the left indicates for aftermarket camera, if you turn it on, you're turning on original camera. So if you're adding an aftermarket camera, you're gonna leave this off. If the car does not have a 360 camera and you're only adding rear camera or it only has rear camera, you're gonna leave this set for rear camera, so that's gonna stay off. This is also compatible with HD cameras. So we have two different HD camera settings here. Um, your 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second settings. So it will accommodate both types of HD camera. So really nice, you could have an HD camera now with these interfaces, which previously you couldn't. Um, also, you could set the front view display time for up to 10 seconds. So when you come out of reverse and go into drive, the front camera will display for up to 10 seconds if you wanted to do so. And that's how you set it right there. On the Porsche, additionally, you can press and hold the option button to force the camera, front camera anytime. And then you have audio settings here. So you have all of your, your volume. These are your gain level outputs for your different options. Main volume, Navi volume, call volume, ringer volume, and voice assistant volume, which is you know Siri or Google Assistant. You have your mic sensitivity, which I recommend just leaving at 12. You have... Uh, full range EQ setting here and this is the option to use the factory mic or an aftermarket mic and then you have the automatic echo cancellation so what you do is you uh, turn the volume up to about 50% in the vehicle and you run this test and that that will auto calibrate the microphone and um, this way it eliminates any echo that's there so what you do is you just select OK, and it'll give you a series of beeps, and it'll self-calibrate, essentially. Um, 